Hello tea lovers, today we are going to taste our matcha from Mr. Nakai um, from Wazuka Natai, Nakai Tea Garden is actually a tea garden close to Kyoto, it's around 20 minutes from uh, the uh, Kyoto center, so actually a little bit outside and uh, Mr. Nakai is actually uh, one of the first, or so the family of Mr. Nakai is one of the first families in Japan doing uh, organic green tea. His father originally was one of the founder of the Jazz logo, so the Jazz logo um, is actually the logo which you can see on each pack here, um, also an organic tea. This is actually the certification of the Japanese green tea. But today we are not talking about the origin of the organic label, we are talking about matcha. Actually this is a so-called koicha matcha which you can also use to do koicha. Koicha is a lot more uh, thicker. Um, it's a thicker paste where you use less water and the double amount of matcha. But today we are gonna stick um, with um, a normal preparation of um, a usucha matcha, so a drinking matcha. And what you can see already here, the color of this one is uh, pretty dark. Um, this uh, is an okomidori matcha, so from the okomidori cultivar being very sweet round. For some people it might be not veggie enough but on the sweetness, on also the fine taste, round taste with a full body, this uh, is actually my favorite matcha. It has, uh, it has just this roundness with it which I personally really like. So when we uh, take or uh, do a matcha what you actually need is um, the cha sen very very simple then you have also the spoon actually the spoon which I didn't use now what you can do um, or what you can use it for is just to take out the matcha from uh, its package um, it's a very easy thing to do but you don't need it absolutely so you can just go in and then you take normally two to three of these spoons to put in the matcha or put out the matcha of the package and then to do your matcha. Good, so but today I didn't use it and um, important is also the bowl. Just use also a sieve here. I have a metal one but you can also buy very cheap ones out of plastics uh, which cost around one dollar in the supermarket of 50 cent. So really don't make it uh, too complicated. Important is that you pass the matcha through. So you just uh, put it in here. Voila, around half a tablespoon, one, 1 1.5 grams on around uh, 150 milliliters. You just uh, pass it through, very important that you break the small balls which actually form when humidity touches the matcha which happens very fast as soon as the package is open as the matcha slightly um, absorbs the humidity so you got a very fine powder here in here and now you can use actually the water um, you pour in around 100-150 with one and a half gram I would go to 150 Voila. and what you can see now that is really a nice green uh, color of uh, the matcha um, uh, which for now um, a little bit of foam which you can do now my uh, sifting was uh, my mixing was not so good this morning so you can really make here better better foam so actually finally you get 
really nice foam. This was already a little bit better. And now uh, we go to the tasting of the matcha. So let's uh, try to taste this. Already on the, on the top note, when you smell it, uh, it has this greenish, and what I like about matcha is this greenish, uh, intense uh, nose feeling is actually coming from getting the whole leaf into, uh, into the tea, it transforms the, the water also in a, very, uh, in a very strong greenish color, which you know from matcha, and you really got this taste of the leaf in your mouth, so let's go. This even has really, it has a really bright, soft notes uh, to it. A little bit of sweetness, nearly like in the direction of corn. It's a little bit going also, it brings a little bit of, um, of uh, hay, nearly rye flavor to it. And then when we go into tasting, There's really, this is the special thing about Okumidori, there's really no bitterness to it. So there's like this full body, it's smooth going over the tongue, there's a creaminess coming out. There's like a silky, buttery flavor on your tongue, giving way to this to the greenish to the greenish taste like a, like a little bit of fresh spinach but not too strong so if you're looking for more stronger the okobinori match is here a little bit uh, dimmed it's a little bit lower but there's like this round buttery creamy silky sweetness which is really nice about this matcha really no no bitterness and this is why also this matcha is really really good for a koicha koicha is like a thick paste and as soon as the matcha is too bitter it is um, it's getting too strong and it's not a pleasure to drink it as a koicha so koicha has to be really with a with a um, with a nice okumidori or sweet matcha So this was it, already finished, a good one, so this you can uh, find uh, soon on our uh, online store and uh, you uh, can also order a sample just to be sure which matcha you like. So this was it, I wish you a great day and don't forget to drink the good stuff.